Hey guys, it's Spin or Switch, whichever. And, um, well, uh, as most of you already know, um, uh, Dog Bomb passed away, um, of his own wishes. And, um, it's just been kind of crazy. Uh, I didn't know the guy. Uh, I don't want you guys to think I did, um, at all. I, I never even met him. Not once. And, uh, I wish I had. But, um, I just want to take a moment and talk to you guys for just a second. Um, this guy was absolutely, <clears throat> I mean, the, this guy's an absolute hero. And, uh, just absolutely crazy. Like, what he did. What he was able to do. I mean, being diagnosed with ALS, 100%, um, there's no way you're going to live through it. A hundred percent mortality rate. It's crazy. And um, what this guy did in the face of that is just unbelievable. Um, what he was, what he put himself through, uh, everything that he did, and um, all the stories, all the people that have come out and and uh, said what this guy meant to them and. Like, it's honestly just, it, it's just so much. And this is, he has brought our community together in a way that nobody else has. And honestly, this guy is amazing. I, I just was getting briefed on this guy's story and it's amazing. Like, I wish I'd known this guy. He's an absolute hero, and I, I know that I'm just repeating that, but there's just no other word for it. He was the goodest of boys. The absolute goodest of boys. And I hope that uh, in my life that I can be half the hero that this guy was able to. And if I was put in that same circumstances, I would make those same choices that I would do that thing. And I hope that all of us would. The guy was just exceptional. And, um, I never knew him, but I damn sure am never going to forget him. I, I don't know what else to say in that regard, but, um, I wanted to say something because this guy, this guy was just amazing. Anyway, guys, we'll get on with the video and uh, all of that. But um, <sighs> hi, guys, it's Ben, and today I want to talk to you about a furry that inspires me. Now, I met this furry at Confuzzled last year, 2018. It was kind of amazing. Uh, this guy is uh, a crazy good artist and also a really good friend. His name is Pharaoh, and I'll link all the appropriate social media stuff down below so that you can go and check him out. He is a fantastic artist having done some of my badges uh, for me, as well as some other art, um, his style is just unique and different, and I absolutely really, really like it. Now, as I said, I met Sparrow at Confuzzled, and, um, we got on really well. Uh, he was, uh, really interesting to talk to, uh, had a lot of very distinct opinions about things, and... Being that I have very distinct opinions about things, uh, we had fantastic conversations uh, the entire weekend, and it really sucked because I had to leave, and, uh, well, he lives in England, and I don't. Super cool guy, super nice to talk to, and a fantastic artist. Even though he sometimes has a tendency to draw some things I would rather he not have drawn like this for instance 
It's also important to note that he just opened up his Patreon. Uh, I'll put a link to that. Uh, I'm a patron of his uh, as well. But uh, if you would like to be a patron of his, you can follow the link down below in the description of the video. And then you too can reap the boundless benefits of being a patron of Sparrow. But more than just being a good artist, he's a good person. And that's another reason to follow him and, uh, and, and get his art and stuff and become a patron and all of the other things. Do all of the things. Countless times over this past year, I have seen uh, Sparrow stand up for what he believes in no matter who is telling him different. It doesn't matter if it's his, his best friend or uh, anyone that's close to him. He stands up for what he believes is right. I can think of no better quality in another person than that. Over this past year, I have seen Sparrow grow as an artist and as an individual. I have seen him overcome things that were his biggest fears. Some of them, admittedly, he might have not been so keen on, like the ice skating thing. Admittedly, that could have gone better. Uh, if you aren't briefed on the story, I may have insisted that Sparrow go ice skating with us uh, the last time I was in England. And he reluctantly said yes, which I thought was really brave of him. But he did so, and um, he fell. And uh, he fractured his arm. Now, it was a small thing, but the rest of us kind of thought he was making a big deal out of it and kind of just told him to walk it off. And then we got the doctor's report that said that he had fractured it and that effectively we were assholes. So, you know, Pharaoh, if you're watching, and maybe you are, maybe you're not, um, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Throughout this entire year, Pharaoh has grown and shown remarkable bravery, as well as an ability to evolve as a person and to become a better version of himself each and every time. Even if he disagrees, even if he's upset, he still listens. And where this really doesn't have anything to do with, with his art style, I have to mention it because it's part of his character. And that, to me, is one of the most inspiring things about him. It's not that he can draw something better than somebody else. That's not what inspires me. <clears throat> and more often than not, you'll see that the, the reasons that I'm inspired by these people is not because of their artistic talents, although his talents and drawing are just crazy good. I have to say, the thing that really inspires me about Sparrow is his ability to evolve as a person, to be willing to listen to other people's advice, to be willing to listen to anything, and also to be willing to listen to my insane ramblings from time to time. He is consistently there for his friends, no matter what it is, no matter even if he disagrees, he's still there, he's still trying. And that is what inspires me about him. His ability to be the bigger person for anyone, even though he is quite small. I think actual height is about here, like three foot something, I don't know, very small. It takes a level of maturity and a level of bravery that a lot of us are sadly missing. And I hope we find it. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, uh, remember to like, subscribe, 
hit the bell uh, wherever I decide to put it. And, um, you know, let me know down in the comments down below um, which furry inspires you the most. Also, something I'd want to uh, point out is that I will probably be opening a Patreon soon. So, for those of you that have been asking for that, I will be doing that at some point soon. Um, no definite date yet, but some point soon. So, look forward to that, if that's what you're looking forward to. And as always, guys, I have some words to leave you with. To the well-organized mind, death is just the next great adventure. Bye.